When it comes to real estate in Montgomery County for spring of 2023, don't buy into fake news, misinformation, and certainly not disinformation. If you're looking for the straight sh and how it applies to you, this is the perfect video. Buckle up, buttercup, and stay tuned. Hi, I'm Kevin Grolig, a real estate agent with Compass located in Potomac, Maryland. I specialize in helping nice folks like you relocate to Montgomery County, Maryland, the place I've called home my entire life. So whether you currently live in Montgomery County or are considering relocating to Montgomery County, stay tuned for my breakdown of the real estate market, Montgomery County, spring of 2023. We're gonna break down the good, the bad and the ugly. And we'll ultimately let you know how this affects you, both positively and negatively. Now, before I get started, I wanna let you know that all of my statistical data comes from Smart Chart Market Stats by Showing Time. Okay, now that we've gone through all the disclaimers, School's in session. Grab your paper and your number two pencil and let's dive in. Year to date, sales in Montgomery County through April 2023 are down 32%. That's one third fewer sales than at the same time frame in 2022. Now, if we stopped right there, one might think this is because of interest rates having risen and demand drying up. But that couldn't be further from the truth. The real story in Montgomery County, Maryland is homes are disappearing. As of the end of April 2023, there's 14% less inventory today than there was at the same time last year. Now, once again, at face value, 14% doesn't seem to be a huge drop off. However, if you go back in time, just 90 days to February of 2023, we had 40% more inventory than February of 2022. How do we go from a 40% surplus to a 14% deficit in 90 days? Where are they all going? Well, thank you for asking. The main reason inventory is disappearing, it's pretty simple when you think about it. 80% of the homeowners in the United States with a mortgage have a fixed interest rate of 4% or less. Some have interest rates as low as 2.5%. Let's face it, there's not much incentive for the local Montgomery County homeowner to sell, move across town, and swap 3% for a 6.5% rate. Month after month, there's somewhere between 35 to 40% fewer homes being listed that month than the same month the year before. Meanwhile, demand is still there. What I'm finding is in 2023, the people who are selling their homes need to sell. Most of the homes I've sold so far year to date in 2023 have been either relocation, death, or landlords cashing out when their leases expire. What's interesting is while the number of units sold is down 32%, the average sold price is up about 4%. The average home sold in Montgomery County since the beginning of the year has sold on average for 100.2% of the list price. What this means is the majority of the homes are selling above the asking price. This 32% drop in sales, what this really means is this is not a demand issue, this is a supply issue. The majority of the homes that our team has sold in 2023 have been multiple offer situations. We've had some scenarios where there's three or four offers, and we've recently had a scenario where there was actually 29 offers on a property. I tell my buyer clients, it's like the old game that we all hated from back in the day, musical chairs. The problem with this game is, there's many more asses than chairs to sit in. Not everybody's gonna get a seat. Slight striking. What does this mean to you as a home buyer? This inventory problem is not going away anytime soon. You should fully expect values to continue to rise 
as inventory shrinks. If you're thinking about buying a home in the near future, my advice is do it sooner rather than later. I've heard many people say, well, we're gonna wait until the rates come back down again. There's no promise of that. We have a saying in this business, date the rate, and marry the house. While this sounds quite cliche, and it is, there's a lot of truth to be told there. With values going up and no guarantee that rates will drop, it's best to purchase a property that you love now. Lock into the pricing, lock into the rate. If interest rates go down later down the road and it makes sense financially, you can always refinance. Home sellers, there doesn't seem to be a ton of incentive to want to sell now unless you absolutely have to. However, I'm talking to some of my empty nester clients to consider selling sooner rather than later while the getting is good. Once again, there's no guarantee of what the future holds. So what are your thoughts? I've given you the straight shit. Whether you currently live in Montgomery County or outside of Montgomery County, if there's any thought about buying or selling real estate, feel free to hit me up direct by text at 240-793-7495. If you're watching this video from out of state or out of the country, and you want more information on Montgomery County, Maryland, download my free Montgomery County Relocation Guide by clicking the link in the description box below. Thanks once again for checking out the latest video in my series, Real Kevin. See you next week.